Okay, there it goes. Hello friends, we're so excited to be here today on this beautiful Friday morning after being downtown last night and serving our um, neighbors who suffer from homelessness and poverty with Nightlight Tulsa. So that was a great night. What did you think? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah. It was my first time mm -hmm. to visit there and yeah, it was very meaningful to me. Great. Yeah. yeah. Well, another um, another ministry that we're getting ready to do and we're inviting people to serve with us is Family Promise and yes. it'll be your first time for that. Yeah. So Family Promise started um, where the families would come sleep in our church mm -hmm. and uh, 12 other churches and they would we'd have them four weeks a year mm -hmm. and it took like 50 volunteers that week to host them and so what happened during the pandemic is the families couldn't go to the churches because the churches were closed mm -hmm. so they have a contract with a low-income apartment complex okay. and so they're able to stay in that apartment mm -hmm. and take their classes they take um, accounting classes parenting classes nutrition classes those kind of things and what we discovered during the pandemic was they were actually graduating earlier from the program than when they were rotating all the time. So it's it's actually a better program. The pandemic made it a better program. But what we need people to do is to help provide food. Mm -hmm. And some of that is making meals and delivering them. Some of that is delivering boxes of groceries so they can make their own meals. And this time we are going to also um, take them to Chandler Park, which is beautiful. And it's up on a hilltop mm -hmm. with a view of the city of Tulsa. It's kind of in West Tulsa. Good. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'll cut that out. Um, and so we're going to have a picnic for the families um, in Chandler Park. And we encourage you to come. We're going to cook some hot dogs and play with the Frisbee and do that kind of thing. So that ministry needs volunteers starting on May 8th. So if you'll go to your Connect page and sign up, or you can call um, Joe Horton, who's in your church directory, and he can explain to you uh, the expectations and what we need you to do. So it's a wonderful program. We do it four times a year, and we need your help. I think they still have about 15 empty slots for mm -hmm. that week uh, to fill up. So yeah, sign up today. So what have you got? I have food and friends. Oh, new new uh, faith groups. Yes, right. Uh, do you want to make new friends to enjoy a time of fellowship and food? Yes, yeah. always. Yes, <laughs> I'm right. all about the food. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> Join one of our food and friends group. They will be starting soon. So this group will consist of eight people, right? Mm -hmm. Couples, singer, all are welcome. This group will gather once a month and we will have the option to join a home potluck group or a local restaurant group. So you can find the link also uh, to sign up for a, a group on Friday email mm -hmm. and our homepage, facetorsa.org and click the uh, stay, stay connected, connected yes. button, yes. So John and I, when I was a youth director, we mm -hmm. actually did this. We called it Dinner for Eight then. And you mm -hmm. went to somebody's home and had a meal there. Um, and so by changing it to Food and Friends, we're making it more flexible. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we made some great friends. And they're people we probably never would have become friends with because we they were in different places in life than we were mm -hmm. but it was fun to be in their homes and it was fun to see what great cooks they were as well yeah. and um, my grandparents were in a dinner for eight group with couples from Tulsa and Aunt Mulkey, and they actually liked each other so much mm. that they met for 50 years Ooh, yeah really? a really long time wow. And it was it was amazing, um, mm -hmm. and they they became deep friends with the people in their group. But we're not asking you to do this for fifty years. <laughs> we're asking <laughs> you to do it for three months, mm -hmm. once a month. I've heard of groups that will like 
they all have a theme, like they want to find the best hamburger in the city of Tulsa. So they go out to different hamburger joints and then they mm. vote on what they liked and didn't like. And oh. it's fun that way. Um, yeah. yeah. So there's lots of flexibility. You can gather a group of eight for yourself or if you'll just sign up, uh, Brittany is coordinating that and she'll uh, get you assigned to a group. So, and then the last thing that I wanted to lift up was um, next Sunday, which is May 8th, it's going to be Senior Sunday. Now, I know it's also Mother's Day, um, but we were trying to have it before the kids graduated and get the higher attendance um, from our seniors, because once they get involved in parties and jobs and travel, we don't always get very many of them back. But um, we wanted to celebrate that we have some seniors that are very involved. They're going to be leading the music um, for the praise team from the youth group that day. And then our sermon will be by one of our seniors, Drew Lyon. And uh, I met with Drew yesterday and he's planned his sermon and he's got his scripture and he's ready. So yeah, yeah it should be wonderful. He will preach at both services and we'll have the video of our students at both services. So that will be Mother's Day, um, May 8th. So, and then Sunarok pointed out earlier that I'm starting hiking with Heather today, um, but every Friday at 7.30 a.m., gather at Turkey Mountain, uh, where the bathrooms, the public bathrooms are, in the lower parking lot. And um, what I do is I read a scripture and we have a prayer, and then I ask everybody to be quiet while we hike for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, they talk the rest of the way. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun, and I love to be out in nature with God. I know Drew is gonna come. He told me he'll be there tomorrow or today. So I just wanna say that uh, if, you can, if you can walk for three to four miles, um, come out and enjoy that morning. It'll be good for me because it'll make me go. Mm -hmm. If I know other people are coming, <laughs> I will get out and exercise and uh, that'll be good for me. So um, we're excited to um, be presenting uh, this Sunday, third grade Bibles to our students at the 11 o'clock service. There are five of them. And we're going to be celebrating again some of the milestones where our church connects to our families. And we think that's important. And so I hope you'll join us at 9 or 11. We'll see you Sunday. Good? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> other than my coughing spell. <laughs> <laughs>